G'day everybody, Nick here again from Super Cheap CPAP and today I'm going to be doing a little talk on a very interesting mask, a new mask of the market called the Philips Respironics Dreamwear Mask. And this is a totally uh, revolutionary mask, I guess you could call it. Uh, it's something that's never really been done before, so it's quite new um, in the way that they've actually designed the frame and the mask itself. So it is. it looks very similar to your typical nasal pillow mask, which is the ones that sit with the pillows in the nose. But this mask itself doesn't actually have pillows that go into your nose. Um, it, your nose actually sort of sits in this on this sort of cushion part. So uh, the cushion part delivers the air without actually having the prongs in, in the nostrils there. Um, the thing that makes this mask so unique is that the tubing, instead of being normally at the front here with the nasal pillow mask is actually up here on the top of the head. So I'll just give you a bit of a 360 view there of the mask. You've got your uh, your head strap support at the back there and um, the sort of tube-like frame comes up the side here and you actually connect your tubing to the top here and so this is where the actual exhalation port is up here instead of being down here where the air normally shoots out from. Um, so that's something that's totally new. It's never been done before that you never have the tubing connect up the top here. Normally you have it hanging down, they have a tube that hangs down the front here. Um, and the way that works is that this actual um, frame is like a, a tube. And so the actual pressure from um, the air actually comes down through the actual frame and gets delivered here. So the air doesn't rush up like normally through the front, it actually gets delivered from the top and through these this tube-like frame that runs along the side there. All right, so that's um that's that's a really um a really new bit of technology that they've done there, something that's never been done before. Now with that, um, they've probably done that for a few reasons. One is that when you have the tubing connect at the front, it tends to constantly sort of pull down as you're sort of moving, and so it tends to sort of want to pull the mask. Uh, out of your um, nostrils there, the nasal pillows. So having it this way, um, you're not going to have any pressure at the nose. You're only going to have it at the top top of the head, which is nothing. And also means that the actual tubing isn't sort of hanging all on top of you. When you're lying there on the pillow and moving from side to side, the tubing's actually coming around and connecting at the back there. So that's very unique um, and, and totally new. Um, with this mask itself, uh, when you buy it, you buy it as what they call a fit pack. And that means that you actually get small, medium, medium wide and large uh, nasal cushions, I guess you could call them, at the front here. And I'll just show you sort of what they look like, if you just bear with me a bit. So the mask sort of comes apart at the frame here. Just sort of a pull. So that there is your little cushion. And you can see there's a bit of a hole at the front just here. And that's where the air sort of comes out of. And this one here is a small. Um, and so your nose basically just sits in on that cushion there. And depending on the size of your nose and the shape of your nostrils, you can choose uh, one of the fit pack cushions that's going to suit you the most. So it sits there. It's very soft. It's very, um, it feels very nice and you don't get any nasal irritation, which is what some people get with those nasal pillows because they sort of, uh, into the nose, into the nostril, so to speak, you get uh, a bit of that irritation from it moving and rubbing. And it also feels quite secure. So, you know, it's got a little bit of movement to it, which means that, um, you know, instead of popping out of your nostril, it's not going to pop out of your nostril. It's quite secure there, which is good. Um, so I'll just plug that back in quickly. So like I said, you get the small, medium, medium wide and large cushions all included. You also get some wraps that I haven't got on here, but there's normally like a, a tubing wrap that wraps around here that's quite soft. It's a fabric material which is quite soft on the cheeks. Um, and this mask actually comes with one size frame. Um, it only comes in the medium size frame. You can actually purchase separate size frames. But you can't purchase, for example, a small frame fit pack. It only comes with the medium frame fit pack. And if you want to purchase an extra um, frame, like a smaller size frame or a larger size frame, then you have to do so separately, which is a bit interesting. Um, uh, most companies enable you to choose 
you know, small, medium, or large, depending on, um, you know, your needs. But they found that, you know, 99% of uh, patients fall into the, the medium size category in terms of this frame. Um, so unless you do have a really, really small head or a really, really big head, this is probably still going to fit you quite fine. Um, we can adjust the back straps here as well to, to make it a bit tighter in terms of um, into, the nos into the nose there. Just to, if you feel like there's a bit of leaks, we can adjust that, which pulls it up a little bit. Um, but this is a, a really unique mask um, and it's something you should definitely have a look at. The reviews have been really positive. Um, the, yeah, some really good things about this mask is that it's quite minimalistic. It's very you know, low impact. Um, you've got nothing there in the line of sight, so it's good for reading and things like that. If you're someone who wants to get into bed, put your mask on and have a bit of a read or something. Or other people are claustrophobic, so not having that mask, uh, you know, big mask on is really good. Um, being so soft uh, with the straps, you don't get a lot of marks and you don't get any na nasal uh, irritation. Um, you don't have anything up on the bridge of the nose, so you're not going to get soreness on the bridge of the nose. Um, so it's very low impact. Uh, I'm a big fan of uh, people who think outside the square, um, and I think they've really done that with this mask. Uh, they've, you know, for many years and years and years, they've gone along the, the same, you know, nasal pillow, nasal pillow, nasal pillow mask with just a few tweaks, and this one here has really just sort of blown all that out of the out of the way and um, come up with something totally new. And many people have been having a lot of success with it. I'm gonna read you um, some reviews now, like I normally do, so you can get a bit of an idea of what other people are saying about this mask, real customers, real patients like yourself, who might be looking for a, a, a new nasal mask or they might be having trouble with their old nasal mask. This is something to have a look at. Um, I'll just see if I'm missing anything at all. Um, that looks like pretty good. There, so uh, let's talk a bit about the review side of things. If I can just pull it up. So, uh, out of 300 reviews, uh, this mask has an average of 4.4 out of 5, uh, which is very high. Uh, when we're talking about CPAP masks, it's very hard for the manufacturers to design masks that everyone is going to like. Uh, there are so many variables, so many different faces, so many different, um, you know, sometime, sometimes they might design the absolute perfect mask, but the actual customer, you know, isn't good with CPAP. They just don't like the therapy and they'll give a negative review. So anything uh, above four out of five um, is really, really good in my books and 4.4 is excellent. So let's get to the specifics now and talk about some specific reviews here and I'll just read some out for you. Um, okay, uh, I've used six styles of masks over the years and never expected to give a mask a five star rating, which is what I was talking about before. After using the Dreamwear one week, it is definitely my all time favorite. For the last one and a half years, I used a highly rated ResMed Swift FX, but no matter how much I tried to accommodate, uh, the mask, did, mask and I did not get along. Uh, the Dreamwear, how could that possibly work? Nasal cushion does indeed work wonderfully well for me. The measuring template in the package made it very easy to select the right size, small for me. I had annoying leaks sleeping on my side for the first few nights, but adjusted the straps to fit a bit lower on the back of my head and did fine the next few nights. The cushion is so very comfortable and the mask leaves no mask marks on my face. The only negative so far is the air venting straight out from the cushion. So there is a little, uh, tiny little vent there at the front, um, which my husband complained about one night, but now he is fine. So that's one. Uh, innovative. I've had this mask for about a month. From day one, I noticed I was getting better sleep. The mask doesn't leave marks on my face, so you're getting that idea that you know it's not gonna leave marks on your face. Um, like the previous headgear I used, when I turn over, it doesn't become dislodged and wake me up. It stays put. I was skeptical about it, how it would seal at the nostrils, but it works really well. I can even read with it on. Sometimes I like to listen to music with earbuds when I go to sleep. They are more comfortable with this system than we might with others that I've used. 
and there's less stuff around my face, so you're getting that minimalistic feel like I was talking about. Uh, it's comfortable, I sleep better, it's easy to clean, uh, what's not to like. So that's a really good one. I'll see if I can find some uh, negative ones here for you. Uh, beware if you have a slim nose. So getting back to that thing, it's very hard for the manufacturers to make a master suit everyone. And so someone here's got a slim nose and I'll read their review. Uh, as a nasal pillow mask user, I had read all the reviews and was very excited to try this mask out. I also knew after reading the reviews that with my slim nose, with the with my slim nose, it might not let the seal, it might not seal well. And to my finding, that is exactly what happened. Couldn't get it to seal. I was really disappointed because the headgear was so comfortable, especially with the air attachment on the top of the head and how it fed the air to my nose through the side channels. Before asking for a return label, I went so far as to cut the end off my nasal pillow nasal attachment and slip it in the Dreamwear nasal mask attachment with a few modifications to get the air into it. And it almost worked, but still too loud without a proper seal. So that, that customer's actually uh, cut a bit off another mask and then they've uh, taken this cushion out and <laughs> tried to uh, try to fix an, another uh, mask cushion into it to, to get it to seal. Uh, uh, I'll read a couple more. Uh, there's, they're quite long, um, so I'll try and shorten them up a little bit. Uh, I'm a newbie using CPAP only one month. I was initially provided a full mask. It became apparent that it was very uncomfortable. The full mask leaked and was hard to use. I returned it. Of the full mask, I tried a nasal pillow that sticks into the nostrils. So they're those nasal ones that have the pillows. I thought I'd found the perfect mask, comfortable, quiet, but it leaked like crazy and I could not prevent it. I'm now using a Dreamwear and it's the best for me so far with a few things keeping it from being perfect. The main one being the head straps routinely slip off and I have to refit it several times a night. It also a bit noisy, especially when you sleep on your side. Medium seems to be a bit loose for me and difficult to adjust. I would like to try a small, but unsure uh, if they carry different sizes. Well, they do. Uh, so that's one thing um, I have heard is that uh, sometimes people find that with the air traveling down the sides there, it um, can create a little bit of noise. Um, so, uh, you know, there, there are all sort of things to take into consideration when getting, a, you know, a CPAP mask. Uh, and that's why sometimes it's best to, to go into a clinic and try them on first. Um, I'll read a couple more and that'll be it. I've tried many masks from both Respirants and ResMed, pillows, full face, nasal masks. None were as, as effective as this mask. I like the ResMed nasal pillows, so I was skeptical about ordering this mask. I'm now very glad that I did so. The results have been amazing for me. The leaks are almost eliminated. My AHI, apnea hypopnea index, is the lower is lower with this mask. Pressure readings from the software are very consistent and it's the most comfortable mask I've tried yet. The overhead tube is ingenious. I think it's quite ingenious too for an active sleeper like me. And I thought it was going to be worse before I tried it. I still love the Resume pillows, but this product has it beat. Kudos to the design team at Respironics. I agree. Kudos to the design team. Very good. Um, so you kind of get the picture. There are obviously a lot, a lot of people that like it. Um, but as always, you're going to get some people that it just doesn't quite work for. Um, but I certainly recommend that you have a, have a good look at it, especially if you're having some issues with some of the other masks. Perhaps you like that nasal pillow design, the small design, but you're struggling with the pillows. They're causing leakages or they're causing sore nostrils. Um, this is certainly one to have a look at, or if you're someone who's getting a lot of red marks or a lot of nasal irritation or something like that, have a look at the Dreamwear mask, uh, or you think it's a, a winner. Um, as always, thank you so much for watching the video. Uh, I hope you liked it. Um, if you did, uh, make sure you click like on the page uh, or put some comments down or something like that. We love your feedback. Uh, like us on Facebook, which is facebook.com forward slash super cheap CPAP. And um, check out our website. We've got a great little chat function on there where you can talk to me and some of the other consultants that we have available uh, for free. Yeah, if you've got questions and need any assistance, we're more than happy to help you out. Um, and check out the Dreamwear mask. It's on our site and we do it for a very good price.
Thanks very much. Bye.